Hello everyone, this is here Atmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, the party did some more gambling, and now they're ready to head on to All Trades Abbey. So we'll leave Pilgrim's Rest and follow the road. All trades, Abby. I opened that chest earlier. Hmm... What is this way, I wonder? Pardon me, Slime Knights. What's up, enemies? And so long. Here we are. All Trades Abbey Level 1. Oh my, this place is rather grand, isn't it? Hmm? Did you say something? I was busy looking at these funny statues. An almost empty abbey. Davalos and the gang arrive at a magnificent looking abbey. There really don't seem to be any problems for them to solve here. Oh, but just wait. Hello. Welcome to All Trades Abbey. If you wish to change your vocation, please speak to the High Priest. You'll find him at the altar just up these stairs. This is All Trades Abbey, where people from all over the world come to find the perfect vocation and unlock their true potential. Behold, you stand in the you stand in the hallowed halls of All Trades Abbey, wherein seekers uncover abilities they never knew they had, and shrinking violets blossom. So those stairs are blocked off. I decided I didn't want to change vocation after all, but they're being very insistent. All of the officials are encouraging all of the officials are encouraging me to switch trades, but I've realized that I was born to be a merchant. Why won't they listen to me? Come on, you've come all the you've come all the way to All Trades Abbey. You'll only regret it if you don't walk away with a nice new vocation. Look, you can say that as much as you like, but I just know that no other vocation is going to suit me as well as the one I have already. There's nothing to worry about. If you change vocations, you'll still retain all the abilities you had before. There really is nothing to lose, so don't be a dope. Go and have a word with the High Priest. Well, that's a bit of a lie. Did you hear that, Tavalos? If you want a new vocation, the High Priest is the man to talk to. Why would that man even come here if he didn't want to change his vocation? Some people. Maybe he changed his mind. So this is All Trades Abbey. It's a big, drafty, empty sort of place, isn't it? I was told it was always full of life, but I can't see much sign of that right now. 
It's a shame that there aren't more people around. But at least there are no monsters. Uh, we'll see. Well, it's true that there aren't many people about. But I suppose that's better than it being crowded. Anything down here? The door is locked. We can't get at those goodies. Or in there. Oh, hello. The door seems to be sealed with a mysterious power. Hmm. All sorts of places are off limits. Well, nuts. One can save here if needed. All right. Let's get this over with. Welcome, Seekers, to All Trades Abbey. No doubt you are here in search of a new way of life, one brimming with possibilities, and with fresh skills to hone, and abilities to discover. Well, are you ready to undergo a change of vocation? To take the first steps on a new, and as yet untrodden path? Well, certainly. And who will be undergoing this change? How about Davalos? And what does friend Davalos wish to become? How about... a martial artist? So Davalos wishes to follow the way of the martial artist very well. But first things first... It has long been our custom here at All Trades Abbey to have the individual who wishes for a new vocation to bathe in the sacred waters before undergoing the change. If I could ask you to walk into the pool behind me, you'll be cleansed in preparation for the new life that awaits. So, into the pool, huh? All right. I'll bite. <coughs> um, that doesn't look right. Gahaha! How does it feel? Do you enjoy the sensation of the power being drained from your body? Uh-oh. Or do you not yet realize that you have fallen into my trap, that you have been deceived? The pool in which you now stand is designed to drain you filthy human worms of all your spells and abilities, thereby stripping you of both skills and purpose. Now, prepare to be sent to a living hell, wherein you will have ample time to rue all that you have lost. Gahaha! Most unfriendly of you, sir. Hello, folks. Don't mind us. Gah, you blockheads. You scared all the fish away. New arrivals, eh? That's the second time today. First we had that warrior going on about wanting to become a hero or something, and now here you are. A warrior, eh? Was he in pink? Gah. I came rushing over to see what all the fuss was about, and it's just some stupid travelers who've had their powers stolen by that fake priest. Well, that'll teach me to get overexcited. I should have stayed in bed. Well, here we are now, in Pilgrim's Perdition. What in the world happened to this town? The buildings are falling apart, the people are horrible, this place is the pits. Ew, everything in this town smells like sweaty socks. I'm glad I'm not a wolf anymore. Now that I've got fingers, I can hold my nose. Powerless to resist. 
After having a chat with the High Priest, our heroes decide to try out a new vocation or two. They step into the suppose they step into the supposedly sacred waters as instructed, only to find every ounce of strength sucked out of them. It's a trap. The friends are cast out into a desolate new domain, robbed of every single spell and ability they've acquired so far. Village of the Damned. Having been having been cast out of the abbey, our heroes are our heroes appear in a pool in an unknown village. Everyone they meet there has been drained of their powers too. And unfortunately, all our spells have been stolen. Oh no. Huh? I jumped into a pool, but landed in a pond. How did that happen? Where are we? What is this place? What's going on? The, that stuff the High Priest said. You, you don't think it was true, do you? That Mazafaus in the middle of town is Stromsgaff. He's a book you don't want to get on the wrong side of. He's called the shots round here ever since he beat the living daylights out of the old boss. This place is known as Pilgrim's Perdition. It's a real dog-eat-dog -dog town. And don't go thinking you can make a break for it. We've either got mountains or ocean penning us in on all sides. It's basically a living hell, but it's home. Don't worry, mister. Just leave it all to Davalos. He'll think of a way to get us out of here. So our skills have been snatched, and we're stuck in the stump. What are we going to do? This is all your fault, Davalos. If you hadn't insisted on getting new vocations, none of this would have happened. Pilgrim's Perdition is a town inhabited by all the poor gullible souls who got duped by that fake high priest, present company very much included. Hello. Ah, uh, it's you. I happen to see you dropping in to see us, so to speak. I'm Zev. Hello, Zev. Sorry, but I can't letting but I can't go letting perfect strangers into my house. Why don't we clear off, hm? Very well, Zev. A bone steak. No need for this. Some horse manure. Well, let's try this place next. Hello. I wouldn't stand a chance against a monster in this sorry state. But if I had my skills back, I'd be able to wallop the filthy creatures Guarding the cave to the west, no sweat. Let's not hang around here any longer than we have to. If we bump into Strom, we'll be for it. We'll see. Hello. There's a man down in the cellar bar, dressed in the same outfit as the All Trades Abbey officials. There's something very fishy about him. I'd give him a wide berth if I were you. The pot contains a medicinal herb. Yep, we're back to scrounging for herbs.
If those lily-livered guards had put up more of a fight, the monsters would never have taken over All Trades Abbey. One of them survived, you know. Eustace, his name is. I think he spends most of his time down in that bar in the cellar, feeling sorry for himself. Eustace, huh? An armor shop? Nothing I especially need right now. A weapon shop. I'll get a snooze stick for Maribel. It casts snooze when used as an item in battle. And I think a steel broadsword for Davalos to carry. Thank you, sir. Hello there. It's all right for those warriors and martial artists. Even without their spells and abilities, they're still tough. But a mage without spells is no use to anyone. I'd put one stinker of a curse on that fake priest if I was still capable of such things. Might as well check back here. Hello. Eustace is the only person in this town who would stand a chance in a, who would stand a chance in a fight with Strom. Rumor has it he was one of the high priestess's pers personal bodyguards, you know. A treasure chest with an Igrasil leaf. Might want to hang on to that. Resurrects a fallen party member. Antidotal herb. Good day. This is where Strom lives. He's the toughest customer in this whole town. He's through here, but he's, ahem, otherwise engaged at the moment. If you want to talk to him, come back another time. There's a book entitled, How to Overwhelm Your Enemies. Davalos takes a closer look. The content suggests the contents suggest that the cover might have been exchanged with one from another book. Davalos pops it quickly back on the shelf with a blush. Davalos pops it quickly back on the shelf with a blush. Hmm. Seed of Life. Very nice indeed. Hello. Look at that little beauty go. It's a sight to see, ain't it? Bought it off a thief I know, bloke called Fingers. If you've got the moolah, there ain't nothing he can't get his hands on. Money talks. Hehe. <laughs> There's a book entitled, Empire Building for Fun and Profit. Davalos takes a closer look. The contents suggest that the cover might have been exchanged with one from another book. Davalos pops it quickly back on the shelf with a blush. Another one. 
Buzz, whirr, kerchunk, kerchunk. A pointy hat. Look at me trapped in this hellhole. What did I do to deserve what did I do to deserve this? If only I'd stayed with her, but no, I had to insist on going to All Trades Abbey in search of a new vocation. What was I thinking? Huh I wonder where she is now. Is she still waiting for me back at the inn, or Hmm, is that Strom down there? Apparently, he thinks he's the top dog in this town. There's the exit. This appears to go down to the inn. Not much comfort to find here. A medicinal herb. I don't want to hear any back chat, Priestie. Give me all your money. Come on, cough it up. In the name of the Almighty, let me be. I'll be more than happy to, just as soon as you hand over every last gold coin in your purse. Hmm? Who are you? This isn't public entertainment, you know. Are you going to clear off, or what? No. Oh, is that right? Sounds like I'm going to have to teach you some manners. How can you teach what you don't have? We find a harmer. Let's see if we can sleep this guy. He can be put to sleep. Not a nice fellow. Ah, uh, there we go. Goodbye, Harmer. Nasty fellow. Erg. You had better run. I have no idea who you are, but I am most grateful. Round here, I'm afraid the law of the jungle prevails. The weak are routinely beaten and robbed. I dearly wish I wasn't such a pushover. You can't help but feel sorry for him.
I think I'll rest after that. Thank you, ma'am. Um, about that little misunderstanding back there. No hard feelings, yeah? Let's let bygones be bygones. Make a fresh start, all of that stuff. Ugh, he's so full of it. He obviously has no intention of changing his ways. If he ever pulls a stunt like that again, he'll... He'll... Be sorry. Hmph. You said it, Maribel. A pub? No one, no one in town is allowed to touch the Soul Stealer, Strom's orders. He may turn a blind eye to extortion, violence, and whatever other crimes you care to name, but that's one role, but that's one rule he won't compromise on. Who does the Strom think he is, anyway? He claims to run the town, then just turns a blind eye to all the horrible stuff going on here. Master Strom won't brook any soul-stealing on his watch, you know. He's strictly opposed to the over-exploitation of the weak. And since he's the boss around here, that means no one will be taking up the soul-stealer any time soon. They wouldn't dare defy him. A thug with standards. Item shop? One with something very good for us. The Thief's Key. Finally. Maybe a bunch more medicinal herbs. Since we'll need them. Maybe some moonwort bulbs. Thank you, sir. So we now have the Thief's Key. Open certain doors that would otherwise remain tightly sealed. All right. The exploration continues. What's up, Scholar? Have you heard of the Soul Stealer? It's a monstrous sword, forged from the souls of human beings. They say that being struck by it will suck the soul from the victim while leaving their body intact. Well, that sounds horrible. If you see a scary, if you see a scary looking sword lying around, hands off, all right? A barrel? With nothing. A stairway? Antidotal herb? I was open there might be some pretty young ladies here, taking the waters. Turns out they don't let blokes anywhere near the place, when it's the girl's turn to have a bath in that. Gutted. Sorry. Five gold. Hey, not so fast. Getting in the tub with your clothes on is frowned upon, to say the least. If you want to take a dip, you're going to have to go au naturel. Thanks for the warning, mister, but I've had enough of jumping in water. You never know where you'll end up. Indeed. Indeed.